Squarespace has this new really cool feature that allows you to create this types of layout without any code. If you want to know how I created this layout, just keep watching this video. I created a new page and I'm going to add a blank section. And I would like to add the first text and I also need some copy. I'm going to use paragraph one and of course some image. So let's add an image to the right. And I want the image to take the full width. So click fill and I want this to be slightly larger. Looking pretty good. Last detail, then we need to add background to this element. So highlight the element and then click this style background and select the background toggled on. We want to select the color to be the exact color as our section background. So this color, and we want to remove any sort of padding or anything. So here on the three dots, we want to make sure there is no padding to the left or top button. Okay. That looks good. And now I'm going to select this two elements and duplicate them. This is going to be our headline two, and I will replace the image. Perfect. And I'm going to make a third copy because I want to have three different columns. Replace this with another image and here it's going to be three. Okay. Save it. And now the fun part, select this element and click on this pin icon. And we want to have it pinned to the top at 20 pixels. And we're going to do the same with the image to the right. We're going to pin it to the top with the offset of 20 pixels. Now this element, we're going to select to pin it, but this time we're actually going to select 90, but for this image, we still keeping it at 20. And now this last third headline, each offset is 70 between each of them. So this was 20, this was 90, and this is going to be 160. And for the image, we are still keeping it at 20. Let's click save and preview what we have. And here you have it. This is pretty cool, huh? Now let's create this layout. I'm going to add again, a blank section, and I would like this to be a darker section. So I'm going to change the color to dark. Then I need to add some text and expand it a little bit. Add some paragraph copy and set it to paragraph one. And I want it to be aligned to the center. Looking good. I also want to adjust the section to have no potting to the top or to the bottom of the section. And I just have to toggle this, fill the screen, toggle it off like that. For the layout I'm trying to achieve, I want to adjust this block to have some potting. The blue indicator around the block is basically indicates what is the space this element will take on our page. And I want this spacing to the bottom. Okay, now let's add some images. So let's start with image one. And I wanted to take the full width. And I want to copy to be on the top of the image. So I'm going to highlight the image and send this move it backwards like that. I want the paragraph to be a little bit lower. Looking good. And I'm going to duplicate the image and upload the next one. I just want to reposition the spacing. This is great. Okay, let's duplicate this and move it down here. We can extend our section to give us a little bit more room by toggling this arrow. Let's replace the image. I'm going to make it slight adjustments here. I will duplicate it again and replace the image. And this has to be a little smaller. So I'm going to shift it down and then make it smaller like this. You can even uh, duplicate multiple elements. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this and this is going to be the other image. And this, I want it to be behind the main image. So I'm going to send it to the back and I'm going to replace the image to this one. Okay. This has to be a little smaller and I would like this. I'm going to do a few 
minor adjustments. I'm gonna expand even a little more. And here I would like to add a button. Let's add the button and move it down here. Because of the layout I'm trying to achieve, I want there to be spacing on the bottom. So I am intentionally placing this button over here. Okay, this is what I wanted. And now I'm gonna highlight this element and select pin to the top. And I would like the offset to be 100 pixels. And I would like this to be on the top of all the images. So I wanna move it forward until I see it as um, grayed out. That means that this element is on the top of all the other elements on the section. And actually this has to be on the top. So I'm gonna move this one forward because I only want this element to be on the top of our headline. And I'm gonna uh, select the pin feature, but this time I wanna pin it to the bottom and like 40. So uh, in order for me to achieve the la layout I want, I actually need this element to be even wider towards the bottom. So I wanna extend this like that. Perfect, and now let's preview what we have here. So this is how it starts, and as we proceed, we're scrolling through all the elements. Our button is sticked to the bottom of the page, and here how it ends. Beautiful. And I have one more layout for you. Let's get in. Edit, add a new section, probably blue. When I add a text, and this section is gonna be to showcase testimonials. Select the heading and I also want to, I also would like to add more copy beneath it. Probably change the color to this one. Yes. And I don't want this to be blue. I'm going to change it to darker and position it vertically aligned to the center. Just like that. Then add another text. I'm going to copy paste the stars and the way you can do it is typing in Google copy star and just select wherever the first one comes up i use this one and just click copy and then you can just duplicate them five times then this is going to be our testimonial and we want it to be larger so paragraph one and expand a little more and also i want to align it vertically then we would like to add an image and I'll hover over this pencil icon and i would, not, would like the design to be a rounded shape this is where we're going to feature the image of the person who left us a testimonial and we want to add their name and also align it vertically to the center. Great. And then let's add a line below this. Looking great. Now the last thing I want to do is edit section and adjust the gap. I want to tighten up the spacing. Okay, great. Do some repositioning here. Now I'm just going to duplicate this multiple times to have more reviews and one more time. All right. And so we're going to be making this part sticky. So hover over it and select this pin button. And we want to pin it to the top, maybe like 40 pixels offset and click save. And let's see how it's going to look. And here you have it. Beautiful testimonial slider. Okay, I hope this video was helpful and you will find a use of these sections on your website. Thank you.